All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakwadash. The bonus to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And salutation, much love to Yahweh out there, pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Oz, Great Millstone, Tampa, coming back with another lesson, Lord, as well as edifying. This is a walk and talk. And um, <clears throat> just wanted to uh, speak on, you know, Satan, dealing with Satan. Because Satan comes in many forms. All right. He can come. You know, it ain't always going to be the white man. All right. <laughs> is, that is Satan. The physical counterpart of Satan, of course. The devil. But, hell, our own people can be Satan. All kind of, Satan will hop on anything, man. He'll put them spirits on, on anything. Animals. You know, got the example of um, Yahweh Shai took the demons off of somebody and where they go they went off to the pigs you know so animals as well can catch demons or spirits in other words you got our own people shit there that's satan there two-thirds are satan because what satan is just adversary slanderer well guess what the biggest advers as this, unfortunately our our enemy right is not even the biggest people that come up against us when we're on the highways and byways. It, it's not just random Edomites on the comment boards talking shit. It's our people. You know, so. Again, Satan comes in many forms. And you need to be able to identify this when it's Satan. Whether it's your people. Fucking Cooley at the 7-Eleven. Resist the devil and he shall flee from thee. You know, walking through your daily life, you need to be circumspect. You know, be, um, you know, be uh, aware of your surroundings. Because Satan will come with a cheap shot. So if you foresee it, like the scriptures say, a prudent man foreseeth evil and he hideth himself. But a simple passeth on and are punished. Roughly paraphrasing the book of Proverbs, I believe. You know, we got to, because remember, this is a battle, man. The spiritual warfare we're going at. And where are the, the, the enemies? Really, we're the enemies of all these people on this planet. If you're either with us, you're against us. There's no in-between, neutral side. No, it's you with us or you against us. Like, the, you know, we always reference the movie The Matrix. Uh, Morpheus said all these people are possible agents. Anybody at a any given moment can snap and become Satan. All right, aka the agents. The eight will agents for Satan. That's why, like the scriptures say, a soft answer turneth away wrath. Because any of these people can become Satan, man. What well, they are. You either with again, you either with us or you're against us. So it would behoove you to be around like minded men. All right. Instead, you know, again, you got to work, got to go to the grocery store, deal with people. But I'm saying as far as like hanging out, you know, like, <laughs> you know, you going to the parties with them and after work, going to the bar with your buddies, your colleagues. Well, fuck all that. Look, if people think you're weird and strange because you don't want to hang out, what the hell with them? Because that could possibly get you jammed up. You don't know these people's intentions. You don't know who they are. It could be an agent, literal, FBI, CIA, whatever, sent to work at your job with you and get some intel on you. And he invites you out. Next thing you know, he's blasting people away and you're, you're a co-conspirator all of a sudden. You know, hey, you, you know it's the far-fetched, right? Yeah, because <laughs> Esau won't go to great lengths to hem you up, right? So re always remember, Satan takes many forms, all right? And remember, Satan, all right, and when I'm saying Satan, I'm talking about the adversaries, okay? Them demons that are, are sent ultimately from the Most High to test you, all right? So they're always going to come. Look at Judas. <laughs> he was part of the 12. He was rocking with him. I'm sure he was the, that's right! <laughs> you know, he, he was one of them guys. <laughs> he was going hard, right? Well, and then look, he, he, he showed his ass. What? He, he he put on a facade. 
They, so that's one thing of, of these these uh, devils, right? Esau, eat them. They'll put on a. That's why the scriptures say, "Never trust thine enemy," because they'll pretend to help thee. You know, they'll put on a. They'll cry with you. <laughs> feel sympath. Make it seem like they're sympathetic. And then, boom! Here come the shiv in the kidney when you turn your back on them. That's why they got the saying in the world: "Keep your friends close and your enemies closer." Well, guess what? If Esau can do that, we makes you think the other avenues for Satan to use won't do that as well, including our own people. All right? Who's the one that betrayed the Lord? It wasn't Edomites. It was our people. Okay. They were the ones that wanted him dead, crucified. You know how, they, who were those savages screaming in the crowd? Crucify him! Crucify him! It was our people. It wasn't a bunch of red devils. It was a bunch of niggas. Niggers. At that. That's what they were, niggers. And they said, let the blood be on us and our children. Those are the snakes I'm talking about. The devils. The sa Satanists. <laughs> All right. So the only thing you can trust is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the true brethren, which again, there's some that crept in unawares. But hey, if they crept in unawares, they, the Lord going to take care of them. You know, but as far as outside of this body, you, you know, in your daily walk, because brothers ain't with you every day. I mean, unless you live with brothers, you know, you link up with brothers daily but a lot of brothers don't live next door to each other you know sometimes they, you know meet up for class and then on saturdays of course but other than that we we solo through our daily walk and this is what i'm talking about you need to be in the spirit be circumspect at all times because you're uh, satan your adversary go uh like going like a roaring lion to seek whom he may devour. All right, what, what, what Satan's job is to get you, test you, and again, he's using Esau, Edom. That's that is the the wicked, but hell, we got wicked of our own people, and Satan could easily hop on them. Hell, Satan hops on uh, um, your me your family members. Oh, you, know, you think you're not gonna hop on some random person on the street? Shit, just the I, I've seen it, man. I've seen it, and then and if it wasn't. That I, you know, that for you, how about me outside? I would have snapped on these people. I, uh, the other day, it was an old white lady. I don't know if she was a Jake or not, but she looked like a so called white lady. This bitch at the register, I'm out Aldi, you know, they, uh, it's, like it's a grocery store, Aldi's. Um, this bitch, is, I'm in line and she just, like, I'm not even there. I'm like, what the fuck? In my head, I'm like, what the fuck? I was about to elbow her, but, you know, <laughs> the spirit, uh, you know, the spirit spoke to me <laughs> and was like, man, just, just step out. So I just stepped back in line, you know, like a step. I moved away from the 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 line or the conveyor belt, whatever, the register, and uh, she, she still she didn't even budge, bro. It's like she didn't even see me. I don't know what fucking world she was living in, but you know, any anybody else would have snapped on her. But you know, I try to keep it cordial, cause you know what what it looked like of me beating up an old lady, but cause she was straight up violating. And I was, and I knew I, I recognized it. That's why I stepped back. I was Satan on her, man. She was all up in my personal space. <laughs> like, bitch, COVID, six feet, ho. <laughs> but, you know, that I, I know, that's just a small example. You know, she didn't say nothing. It, bro, she, she's living in the 1920s still. So what the hell am I going to say to her? You know, I, I could have said something, but for what? I wasn't going to do nothing. I just stepped back and, you know, I was next in line. So went, went my way, bought some dog food, went on my way. Could have made a whole debacle about the situation, but for what? Then, then next somebody want to be a safe captain, save a hoe. Why are you treating the old lady like that? And then now we got now we got a scuffle on our hands. See, you might as well just you know pay for my shit and leave. And that's what I'm talking about. Satan could take, you know, because Satan hop on one person and do something, then Satan hop on another person to come save that person. And then now you got you you got a whole a posse of Satanist talking shit. <clears throat> you know, and hey. Uh, Satan to hop on material things too, like cars. You know, hey, trust me, I've been through it. Brother hit me up earlier. He can he he going through it with he, Satan just straight up. You know, hey, cars catch spirits, man. Some some I've been in a situation where the car wouldn't do nothing. 
I'm like, what the fuck? Come back the next day and it's perfectly fine. She had plenty of examples of that. Brothers in my camp know. Brothers in general, you know, they go through it. So, but, you know, you got to take it, <clears throat> you know, you got to brush it off, man. You got to do that Mayweather defense, man. Slipped in punches. All right, uh, that shoulder roll. You got to just go go with the punches. Because, again, this is a war. This is a fight. What you expect not to be punched? How can you go into a boxing match expecting not to get punched in the face? That don't even make sense. The only thing you can do is adapt and avoid the punches to the best of your ability. Slip the punches. Throw some counters. Boom, boom. But if you're sitting there complaining about getting punched, then you're going to lose the fight. You got to fight. And every, anybody is a potential challenger, so to say, all right? Because we're fighting for the crown, the, the <clears throat> immortality, and everybody wants to take it from you. But that's why the scriptures say, let no man take thy crown. Because really, nobody can take it from you. Only you give it up. Because we're, uh, what's that? Romans chapter 8, I, I believe, the end of it. Nothing should be able to take you away from the love of your house by Shemiah Not Shai. Not uh, angels, nothing. <clears throat> you can only give it up, forfeit, throw in the white towel like a bitch. Because everyone's going to come at you, man. Your wife, your kids, they're going to have Satan to hop on them too. They'll have their moments. And again, Satan will just hop in and hop out. So it's not them per se. They could be, you know, they could love you with all their heart and believe you, believe that you're a prophet, but Satan is going to hop on them just to tempt you. To push you. See what you're going to do. Because remember, it's all about the elect at the end of the day. These people are just extras walking around. NPCs, right? They, the trend going around. Non-playable characters. Well, all, the majority of these people are NPCs. Just useless eaters. They're just there to be there. Space fillers. All right. <clears throat> We're the main characters under Yahweh Shai. He's the most important character, of course. But... So Satan's trying to get at us. Remember what, what Satan's job was for uh, towards Job. It was to tempt him. To see if he would sell out. If he would fold. And that's our stories as we speak. The Lord wants to see if you're going to keep your integrity. Or you're going to fold like a little punk bitch. You know. So with that, Lord's willing, this was edifying. To the hopeful elect. Next time. Until next time I say shalom.